Welcome to another episode of James Explains. Today, we're taking another look at one of Matt Parker's maths puzzles. Last fortnight, we looked at triangular peg solitaire, and this board we used for it has some interesting properties. If we put a 1 in the top space, and for each space below, we fill it in with the sum of the two numbers directly above it, we end up with this pattern. If we then draw angled lines through the spaces like this, and sum up all the numbers on each row, we get another pattern that most people should recognise pretty quickly, the Fibonacci sequence. Now, if instead of starting the Fibonacci sequence with a pair of 1s, we instead start with two unknown values, x and y, then this puzzle starts to look very similar to the topic of today's video, the Million Bank Balance Puzzle. The aim of this game is to try and end up with an account balance of exactly 1 million units. If you want to see the rest of the instructions on how it works, take a look at the original video linked in the description. To start off with, let's go back to our normal Fibonacci sequence. If we divide the first number by the second, we have a result of 1. Continuing on to the next position, dividing 1 by 2, we get 0 0.5. Then, dividing 2 by 3, we get 0 0.6 recurring. In the next position, we get a result of 0 0.6, and the position after that, we get 0 0.625. If we plot these values on a chart, you can begin to see a pattern forming. As it continues, these numbers begin to converge on a value a little above 0 0.65. This is a very common number in mathematics and many other areas in the natural world, and it is the inverse of the golden ratio, or phi. The difference between any two consecutive values in any Fibonacci sequence will always tend towards this value, and therefore we can use it to help us find the solution to this week's puzzle. If we start at the target of 1 million, we can work our way backwards to determine what the initial values of the puzzle must have been. If we take our 1 million, then divide it by the golden ratio, we get a result of roughly 618,033.98. We can round this to 618,034, as we can only deal with whole numbers for this puzzle. We can now take the first two values of this inverted sequence to calculate the remainder of it. 1 million minus 618,034 gives us the third last value of 381,966. If we repeat this process again, we can get the fourth last value of 236,068. We can continue this process over and over again, getting progressively smaller numbers, until we finally reach the two lowest positive integers in the sequence. These two numbers are the values of the first two deposits we need to make to be able to reach a bank balance of exactly 1 million in the longest time possible. If you want to see the original puzzle, or others like it, visit thinkmaths.co.uk slash mathspuzzles, or follow the link down in the description. If you have any suggestions for future James Explains videos, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching. 